Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and I am playing with black primed canvases that are dry. Gessoed from Michaels in value packs of two. And I have leftover paints and cool tools. And maybe, just maybe, you have seen some of the other stuff I've done. Because um, I did two other larger canvases, but I have this paint left. And I really like this paint. Not only do I like this paint, but I think I can do something with it right now so that I don't waste it, which is my usual MO. Oh, please. Come on, I just cleaned that tip out. It's still not cooperating. Okay, whatever. I have some turquoise and that's what I want. Everywhere. And just to use my beautiful magenta, which I don't even know. It's, it's so old, I don't remember how I made it, so. Hopefully this will all work out okay, and maybe if I can't get my purple out, my Prussian blue will suffice. And I think I really want, is that my white pearl? I call it white pearl. I think so. I can't get enough of this orange, no matter what I do. Hey, and this is a nice bright, oh, I see that thing that does not belong. Get out of there. That is a nice bright red. And I'm sort of relying on the fact that I'm floating these colors on the surface. And that I should be able to um, remove them from the surface also. And if I have to use them all, I will. I haven't used any of my other pretty pink or pretty red. And not much purple. It's probably already more paint than I need. I want... I want it all. I want all the colors in there again. I might want some black too. What have I not used? I have not used. I just used that, didn't I? But I like that. Yes, she's talking to herself again. Oh yes, that's that's the ticket right there. If I need something else, I'll just add it. Like now. Oh yeah, darker purple. Excuse me, yeah, right. Darker turquoise. And I'm going to move some of those out of the way, hopefully. And put this over the side. And then I'm going to experiment because I can. This is my tool made of plastic, heavy plastic from the inside of a uh, milk carton. And I just scored it with a pair of scissors, just closed scissors, and then bent it. And that made my little scoop from last time. But right now I want to try something different, including a lot more white on top of that. So let's just go ahead and dip away. Not dragging very far. Just making drops. I have never done this before. You're seeing me do this for the first time as I'm doing it. Where? Where next? I was being pretty cautious. I don't know how consistent I'm going to be able to be with this, but I'm going to keep trying it because it's really cool. I like it a lot. I may have to run over a few things with my whatever I'm going to use next. I might not want to either. Let's see if we can cover up some of the mistakes or maybe even just keep going until we can't go anymore. That might be really cool. Maybe that's what we should do. These, I think these are cake decorating tools, but they could be about anything. And thank you, Michelle, again, for always sending me cool tools. And uh, these have been sitting next to my table for a while with me not knowing exactly what to do with them. And now I do <laughs> at the moment. So I'm planting this gently and not pulling on it very much. Just sort of letting it deposit its paint. I kind of like the half ones. When I go over the edge, I don't put the, don't drip anything extra on there. But I'm gonna keep. Wow, that's neat. It's not hard either. 
uh, it might be a little harder for people who aren't used to the black prime dry canvas because it's if you get your fingers on it you're all done basically what else oh I want to do so much else <laughs> Do I dare cross over? It's so neat right the way it is. I want a screenshot of that, so maybe if I even it out and move away from the table, I can get a screenshot later. That's it. I'm going to cross over. I'm just going for it. This It reminds me of uh, disco or glitter or just a bunch of really fun, cool things. And no matter what I start with, I guess I can go from there, wherever this takes me, I'm going. I, I suspect we could drag a few of these, but I don't think it's time to do that in this one yet, because this is the first. I think we could probably make patterns. I wish I could bend them around as I dip them. So that's kind of too simple to just leave. I'm sure somebody's like, no, stop, it's cool. And it is, it's cool. But we're here to play. We're here to experiment. And if I have something in the background, that's okay. I can definitely dip my spatula in also. I wonder when too, not, too much will be <laughs> enough. I wonder what would happen if we tipped straight, if we went straight down. You can do that too. Just make smaller dots. Neat. I like finding that out. Fun little colors. That turquoise is the bomb. It's definitely all about the turquoise and the gold <laughs> and the green gold and the orange yep I'm color fiend I'm a colorist at best still got some neat patterns going on I'm feeling like I'm approaching the time when I should uh, exercise a little more restraint but I'm not very good at that. <laughs> so I'm going to throw that in the bucket so I can't use it anymore. And I'm going to grab... What am I going to grab? I want to grab a shovel, but I still don't think that's the right thing. I think what I'm going to do is throw some red in on top of this. And I'm going to have to throw all that paint onto another little painting or something. I must have a canvas around here somewhere. No, those are too big. Anyway, so here goes nothing. Yeah, that was nothing. I don't like it. Okay, what do we do about that? Would have been better to have glasses on. I think what we do about that is grab a scoop full of paint. And just go for it. Maybe I don't like that scoop either. Maybe I want some more red. Hey, at least the beginning of it was nice. Maybe I'm in just a little more of a hurry than I should be. I think my bricks on my other piece were probably better than my curves right now. I'm not liking them very much. But I don't give up very easily either. As experiments go, I can still experiment. Yes, I think that's the ticket. I think it's time to just go for it. Tilt it and see what happens. Whoa, almost sent my paint over. I 
do not have enough orange in there by any stretch or anywhere. Or white. And I gotta not be afraid to drag that along because I think that's how this is gonna work out the best way possible. Is to just follow my instincts instead of thinking overthinking it too much. And it was really cool before. I just don't know if it's ever going to be that cool again. Which is probably a very counterproductive thinking pattern. But it's an experiment and uh, we will come through it. It's just maybe not with flying colors that I can promise you yet. I kind of like that the fact that I can drag that through almost anything and create more paint colors or patterns, I should say. And I suspect we should be able to do that. I just want to kind of use up my paint at this point. And I'm going to have to wipe off part of my little tool because it's getting a little schmutzy. If it falls in the painting, you won't notice! <laughs> I might though. No, nope. Hey, that was just bad form. That's okay. You know what we're going to do with that? I'm going to pretend I'm not panicking now. <laughs> and my temptation is to add some white on top and then tip everything because I can. That's the name of my book on the Amazon link. And if I'd stop dri dripping, that would be a really great start. So that's not too awful bad. That's actually kind of way cooler than I thought it was going to be for a moment there. I need to slow down and give myself a break and some allow myself to have some patience. Not my strong suit, but on the good side of things, we did use up a lot of paint. And no matter what we tip, I suppose I was going to say no matter what we tip, those those dots probably aren't going anywhere. But it really depends on how much paint is in them to tell you the truth. And I'm going to do. What am I going to do? I'm going to wish I had my glasses, which I've been without since we started this. But I think I'm just going to have some fun. Give myself permission. I want to do it without. Without, a, without an actual ribbon. I may not wind up tilting. And that could be okay too. The color I really want on there is that magenta, I gotta say. And uh, that orange is a little too strong right there. I think that needs to go right there. And otherwise, the only other thing I could think of adding on there is the white I was threatening. I'm not sure it needs it, but it might. Come on out. Alright, hey, you know what? I don't hate it. That's really good. I'm going to take that magenta. Where are you, magenta? Are you right here in front of me? Yes, you are. There you go. And I'm going to give myself... A little bit of magenta a few places. Because I can, the name of my book on the Amazon link. Which reminds me, the Amazon link under show more under the video is where you can find the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas and the mica powders 
and paints and canvases at no added cost to you and it helps me out if you shop there so I really appreciate that and I want to say thank you guys for all the contributions you've made over the time that I've been making videos to keep me painting and uh, if you watch more of the videos there's 750 of them on the end screen and give me a thumbs up you will help me stay painting and keep me doing keep me bringing you a video every day if at best at least so I don't know it was a little more haphazard than I like but it's still pretty cool and a lot of abstract art can be pretty haphazard and um and dum and dum I think I want a little bit of gold I want a little bit of everything I want that to continue over there even if it's a little brownish and a little more gold let that gold drip right over the edge I think I'm just about there so I do sell my artwork and I do give lessons at, in Spring Hill, Florida at the house in uh, air conditioned comfort in case you should happen to be in the area please let me know and I'll see if I can't schedule you in. Just give me a call or uh, contact me through my website even which is in the last four end screens on every video. You will see my website and that playlist for 750 and the month's contest for those who are still helping me by contributing. Uh, you are automatically entered to be able to have your name drawn and uh, pick one of the prize choices. So I love you guys and it's not maybe my perfect, the most perfect one, but we had a good time playing with that. At least I did. <laughs> Got myself worried there for a minute or two, but I think it's okay now. I might lead a few gold lines over the edge, but um, I like a lot of things about this. Mostly the fact that my eye is happy. And that's probably enough, she says, as she thinks, maybe one more. <laughs> I love you guys. There's over 75,000 of you. Um, if you're looking for a Facebook group to join by any chance, we have Facebook Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation for Students and Facebook, gallery, Facebook Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation for Fans and Collectors. Probably no appreciation in there. I'm a little distracted by my work right now, sorry. Um, I really need you guys to give me a thumbs up, and I really appreciate them. So thank you very much in advance. It tells the YouTube algorithm that uh, I deserve to have good placement, and the better my placement, the more likely I am to keep coming back. I think I have just repeated myself. But you know what? That was really kind of fun, and it doesn't look too awful bad either. I like it. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying thank you for joining me. I hope you come again. I love you guys very much. And I could probably play with a skewer for a while, but I'm not sure there's much point. There is no perfection in this particular piece, but we got some good ideas for another one. So um, we'll see you again. Bye for now. Let me zoom in. Zoom in. Actually, you know what? If I turn this sideways, and even when the end screens come, yeah, that's not really working. But I do love you guys. Bye now. See you soon. Priscilla out.